Johan, just <laughs> tell tell Sash how much how big of a Sasuke fan you are. Johan, I heard that, and uh, let's just say you and I, we're never gonna meet in person, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week four of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Hi there. Next up, we have Brian. Hola! And finally, we have Sasha. Hola, bienvenidos, amigos. All right, and um, some, just some quick anime news to go through this week, uh, just... First one, we just have an Ori Suke manga ending August 23rd, which I don't know why is big big news because like uh, the manga is like far behind like the the light novel. It's just barely ahead of the anime, so I don't think it's gonna be that that far. The light novel finish? I don't think so, but oh, okay. like the manga is I heard like, it's way behind. They announced a spinoff called Ori Suitcase, and <laughs> Ori has to live out of a suitcase. Yes. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Oh. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And then Ori Potter is coming up after that. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> All right. And then the only other thing um, is uh, so Goblin Slayer movie comes out tomorrow. It's Rumor on Country Roll. So I'll be watching that. And then probably next week, just talk a little bit about that. And you say so, Gob- Goblin Slayer? Yes. Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer. In, in no way related to Demon Slayer? No. 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 Okay. Never mind. Absolutely yes. <laughs> not. Oh, you should watch the first episode and give us your thoughts next week. <laughs> oh, sure. You know, honestly, that I think like... it's just up your alley, Sash. Like, no oh, longer. Oh, yeah. Up your alley. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a shot. Give, it, a, just... give it your three-episode rule, dude. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. This, one and, just take, this will just take one, Sasha. Just trust and, me. And, and please watch it alone. <laughs> mm. for for the sake for for your your family's sake please watch it alone uh, okay but yeah it might be up your alley i'll i'll make sure we're watching it on uh you know five speaker system in the middle of family evening night okay so sounds good make sure to wear it, watch it with your parents too oh for sure i'll have my mom there just combing family my hair family friendly sounds good all right yeah so oh. so gavin's their movie tomorrow yeah um, so we're gonna move on to God of High School. Um, I don't know, like, uh, there's not really much to say about this week's episode besides like the last half. Contradiction. Dude, <laughs> yes, that too. I'm not gonna lie, Brian. The more I hear that intro, the more I like it. It just fits it. I'm I like, know, yeah. right? It kind of grows on you, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. At first, I was like, "This is kind of weird." I have whatever, forget it. But now I'm like, "Yeah, I can't wait when he says contradiction." Are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't would go that far, but yeah, it, it's starting to become less and less annoying when yes. I say that. Oh god! <laughs> All right, guys. So I think three episodes of pure greatness, and then this episode I thought was it was terrible. Decent. I, I, the only part I thought that was really good was like the last few minutes, like when we were actually going to the other, kind of like uh, transitioning to the other arc. Yep, because this I don't know this like because first it's just like all of a sudden what like you mean, I mean, other arc, okay. what other arc with uh, uh, the way Han, mm-hmm. whatever the hell his name is, um, Wait, the, guy, the, the fist punching guy, yeah, yeah, the guy who punches her in the kidney in the end, and he's yeah. like, Yeah, I don't feel bad about it at all because my friend died, yeah, well, 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 yeah, but like before that though, like the, the whole thing with her, like, in you know, actually getting married, this is mm-hmm. did this all happen like in a span of a day of him, like, uh. Propos- like uh, proposing, yeah, that was yeah, like four days. Yeah, yeah, four days. It looks like, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I thought that whole situation was just really weird. I, I, I was just kind of like lost. I was like, wait, what? What exactly is happening here? And then it was like, I thought that whole thing was just kind of really done. The pacing was, it was just awkward. awkward. That's why. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was really. Yeah, awkward. if that would have been over the course of two or three episodes, and we got to know that guy's character, I agree. They probably been would have been pulled off better, especially. I, I like the background of her family. Dad passes away. Uncle takes her in. Like that whole part, I thought had depth that I liked to it. But then they just kind of were like, yeah, he's, he's like a little wussy uncle. He can't do anything. He, he can only buy you <laughs> packs of cigarettes. Like that's all he's good for. And then this purple guy. I don't know. It makes her character look really bad too, because if yeah. she's dependent upon 
a purple suit guy who I've got to admit is pretty charming. I would definitely go on a date with him. Um, but just, yeah, it was just a weird situation. They didn't really keep me that entertained. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I, I agree. I I don't know what the manhwa was like, but, yeah, it was definitely rushed. I mean, when they, how many episodes do they have? 12? I think so, yeah. Oh, 12, 13. Yeah, yeah. Like when, when you only have 12 episodes, I feel like there's good, definitely going to be certain parts that are, like, super fucking rushed. Like, there's just the wedding part that was over the course of the day. I don't know if the mana had it over the course of the day, but I think it was just there to get her background and then just introduce that. Me, I feel like it was way too long. Well, I, it, um, go ahead, Sasha. I was just going to say, interestingly enough, I read an article where the creator, this is his, his literal reaction when he saw the episode. He said, man, what was that? So he was just very confused by how they ruined the manhwa. Yes. Yes. Like the one thing that I always yeah, thought, are you like, being serious or? <laughs> <laughs> it was a play out of words, Brian. Manwa, man, yeah, what was that? that. I, I understood that, but, like the play out of words. But I don't know, if, like you actually saw something, like this dude, like what the fuck did you do? It, it took me a second to realize. I was like, oh, okay, he's making a joke. Um, I understood yep. he was making a joke, but I don't oh, know if like, he legitimately saw like a video of like the author saying, what the <laughs> fuck did you do? Yep, no, I, I whenever... definitely did, guys. No, guys, come on. Whenever Sasha does anything like that, you know it's not true. Come on now. <laughs> How long have we been doing this, guys? Come on. No, like, you should sure all know better. Because I can actually understand if like they fucked it up like that. Uh, uh. It's like, uh. I, don't, I don't like, even though I know they only have like 12 episodes, but it's like, it's a, it's is it still running? Like the manhwa? Manhwa? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, still going. Like, okay, so like, I know, I know it's 12 episodes, but I still think like if you're, if it's like an MC or like one of the main MCs, you should give it like more time to kind of like at least nail that like beginning part down. Um, cause I, I, cause like if her backstory and like the wedding thing was two separate episodes, I think it would have been better. Um, it would have given it like a little bit more time. Uh, I'm also I'm also like more interested. Like I wish they would have actually explained more about like that whole uh, like JoJo JoJo spirit thing that keeps coming out of these people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That we that we're like we don't like we're not getting like any kind of information. Dude. Like why does he have that? It's always a cult. I know. Yeah. Why they got to go that route, man? I mean, they already hinted at it earlier. They showed the cult, but yep, it's it's back to the cult. Dude, and another horrible horrible thing is it, like, he stole the sword so easy. Like, oh, yeah, oh, I, I mean, like, like she said, like the sword has no significance. Watch meaning. that shit's gonna come back, well, and it's gonna have some sort of significance in the story. I, it, well, because yeah. like, to just what was it the first episode or the second episode? Like, they spent that a lot of time looking for it in the river, and then just this. Then, like two episodes later, it's like I don't need it anymore. So, yeah, it's still easy. No, yeah, that's see, what that, I'm that's... saying. Like this. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Koo. Oh no, uh, I was just gonna say like I. I this is one of the reasons why I didn't really like this episode, uh, mainly because I feel like they're they're selling her character short. Um, I think she deserves more than this, and they're just rushing her character backstory and just throwing her out of the window at this point. But I feel like she deserves so much more. Like with the, the with the sword, it's supposed to represent like her attachment to her father, and then with her being okay with the sword being gone now, it's kind of showing that she's no longer like being held onto that burden to carry on the legacy and she's just going to live her life and carry on the legacy in her way. I think that's what it's supposed to represent. So that's why she didn't care for it as much. Um, and again, I feel like with the pacing that they're giving it, uh, they're just rushing everything. So it makes it seem like, you know, like what the fuck, why is it that she's okay with this now? But uh, that, that was my take on the whole uh, episode. It was, it's also really weird how like we go through, it's like right in the middle of this tournament too, like all this intense stuff, and like right before the mm -hmm. semifinal, and just like weird pacing, like weird, weird like the break of pacing. So it's mm -hmm. a very awkward place to put it in for the backstory. Especially. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I've noticed that when the action is the focus of the episode, the episode turns out pretty good. But now that they've tried a story-driven episode, and the action took a backseat. It, mm -hmm. it just because it felt so rushed, it didn't really land in certain places. Right. Um, like I said, it had potential, but it was just kind of all over the place in terms of what you guys mentioned the pacing and the character development seemed to just take us like a sidestep. Although I gotta say, uh, on the second half, it went from zero to 100 real quick. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> how do you go from like a, a happy ending to uh, 
oh, uh, my best friend slash brother is dying. Oh, I'm going to lose my job because I beat the shit out of these three guys. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to like beat the shit out of uh, Mira now, too, so I can make sure I win and grant my wish or whatever. It's like, I'm holy so shit, it. man. I, I mean, I don't know if it was to grant his wish. I mean, I could feel like the dude was frustrated at shit. But like, this man was working so hard in order to pay for like treatment and shit. Mm-hmm. And then to come in the hospital and literally watch your best friend die, it's like what do you what do you do with that that kind of stress and stuff? I get like there's no outlet for him other than beating the living shit out of whoever's in front of him. Yeah, there's see, that, but now he's fighting to get his wish granted to maybe save his friend somehow, any way possible. I mean, yeah, that like we don't know for sure if his friend is like dead dead or not, I guess. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that got like three minutes at the end of the episode. Yeah, but it's like, but I would assume based on his reaction, he's dead. Mm. You know? I, that's that's the vibe that I was getting. But like Brian said, you, you they didn't really know. So, yet. Yeah. They never like a hundred percent clarified. But yeah. like yeah. judging from like his reaction when like those bullies came up to him, like, hey, he's pretty close to kicking the bucket. I can understand like that's like a pretty big trigger if I was in his shoes. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they just watched my best friend die. From like had going to cardiac arrest or whatever, and the trigger words like he's closely kicking the bucket. It's like they don't know shit. Right. So yeah. like, the trigger words just hit them, and you just beat the living shit out of them. Like respect for him for dealing with that shit for so long. Like they fucking deserved it, dude. Yeah. His like his reactions too could be more like where he just like feels like where he can't just be kind of like uh like really nice or happy go lucky. Like, he basically like needs to win this, and mm-hmm. he's basically just taking everything like like even more in- just basically just intense now, just to make sure he doesn't lose. He's an intense guy, man. He's like, I don't think you should be in her business. While I deliver this panda meal, <laughs> looking ridiculous as hell. Hey, man. <laughs> Those people gotta get their noodles from the Uber Eats. That's right. The best Uber Eats. By the way, speaking of that scene, I thought that was one of the highlights of, of, of the episode. When he's like, oh, yeah, man, I, I don't trust this guy. My grandpa said these type of people are always into some shit. <laughs> 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 he's like the people on tv they got some people in their basements i was dying i'm like that because you know that's pretty true so or like we're just like oh like what if he's into some shady shit and he's gonna sell her overseas or some shit like that yep, and just, yep. i was like oh, what the fuck dude this guy's imagination is fucking crazy man but his imagination is honestly just like mine so you know, <laughs> i appreciate his style so that was definitely the highlight of the episode for me besides obviously the serious stuff at the end which was very entertaining but Right. Yeah, just odd, odd. Three, three great episodes so far, though. So I, I can't knock the show. Every show runs out of steam, a little mm-hmm. bit. So it, we'll see. It does seem like next episode is going to be another solid one, though. If it's basically about his like kind of like backstory, and if uh... actually no, maybe not because I think because Jin still has to face somebody else, the other right? Guy, yeah. Okay. Yep. So yeah. Maybe it's what well, could be or could be not, but um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The scene at the end where. What's the name? Han De- Han. Dewu? I don't, yeah. I don't, Han. Han. Okay. Where he puts the towel on his head and he's walking by. He's like, Yeah, I'll see you in the finals. I thought that was a completely different character. So I was like, <laughs> Dude, who is this guy with long hair that's blind? <laughs> like, what, what's going on? <laughs> so oh, then God. I had to like re- reverse and go back to it. I'm like, Or oh, rewind. And I'm like, Oh, okay, okay. That's our boy. Just with a towel on his head. Yes. And bloody yeah. knuckles. Yep. I got nothing else? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. Just, just to, like, like I feel I should put this on like the show. I personally like really love the show. I've never read the manga, so like the first like everyone said like, the first three episodes are great. Like the action is awesome and everything. But like I said, being thirteen episodes, I'm legit skimming through the manga. Like the they're on such a time constraint. Like it doesn't fully explain everything. Like some some of the stuff is actually insane. Like the manga is so nice to like just read. Like like, Shredden, like, if you were to read Power of God and be like, dude, this this art looks like shit. Yep, I would be in God would of be High me. School, God of High School is, like, way, in terms for me, like, the art style of God of High School compared to Tower of God is, like, way better. So. Do they still have red noses where they look like they have a cold? Yeah, it's like, they still have blushes and everything. That's just the art style of the characters. But, uh, the nose? Dad, the, yeah, the... the nose, the ears and stuff, like... Yeah. It, it, the art style is pretty much like pretty similar, and I feel like they do a good job of like transitioning like the manga to the anime. Gotcha. But in terms of art style, so like like the Dude, fight I... sequence between um Don uh Dan and uh, uh 
fuck, what was her name? Fucking you, Mira. Mm-hmm. Like in the manhwa, that shit was impactful, but I I think they did a good job on that one too. So. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like so far, the first four episodes covers around like twenty nine chapters or episodes oh, yeah. for the manhwa. So. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, boy. <laughs> So it's that's a lot of flying. That's a lot of yeah. interesting. Yeah. That but is. Right now, the manhwa is at 472 chapters. Ooh, okay. Oof. And the most recent one was released like four days ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And for everybody listening, just so you know why they have a red nose and red ears, the creator actually has what's called Rudolph's disease, where he has a red nose. And I don't know why he's got the red ears, but that's, that's why he purposely drew the characters that way. Yes. <laughs> Uh, true story, by the way. Yes. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna leave it at, at that. Thanks for the extra knowledge, Sash. No problem. <laughs> We're gonna next to Fire Force. <laughs> oh oh god, dude. Oh. Oh. Uh, so th- this episode of Fire Force just um, we actually gotta see more of the the company show up, so that was nice. Uh, Called it. Yeah, we got that yeah. uh, unfortunate scene with. Tamaki back again, but oh, it was yeah, made up yeah. with that awesome fight scene with Charon, just like body slamming Shinra through that apartment building, like through all those like people's people's uh, people's apartments. Dude, fucking Shinra, dude, is built like a rock, man. How is this guy like still <laughs> okay? This guy just is getting fucked over constantly with this guy, and he's still fine apparently. Like that's insane, dude. Yeah, dude, he's one of the sick five. Six- Seven pillars. How, are, how, many, how many pillars I are there? I think it's eight. Five right now. There's eight? five right now. Yeah, there's five what right, the fuck? There's five right now. And then you find eight. Wow. There are only five. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, dude, this dude's a pillar. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't knocking over anytime soon. He dude, I can't. swear, these pillars, it's going to be like football players. You know how they constantly hit each other and then they develop CTE afterwards and they can't like, speak right. or like move their left arms? I think that's what's going to happen to Shinra. When he's like, he hits 45, boom. He's going to be living like a sloth, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I thought once again, like Fire Force can turn it on and then can turn it off. And then sometimes there's too much plot armor around the characters like uh, Shinra back in season one when he's fighting Science Girl, you know, the one who like sh- uh, her special move is like the fire trees or fire oh, blaze. Ivana. I forgot her name. Oh, yeah. Fibana, Fibana, thank the you. Fifth company captain. Exactly. Thank you. When she used her powers on him and he just like willed his way through them, I was like, eh, you didn't really establish that at all. It's just like, ah, because I try a lot, I'm going to beat you. And I'm like, isn't she way above him? But then, of, of course, he unlocks his pillar powers later on. So, uh, you know, th- this episode is, I, um, definitely like, like you said, decent. Definitely not as good as the, the, the first three, but. No, nope. oh, especially after the last, yeah. the last one built up the tension. That guy getting his body destroyed. They should have just had the whole episode about him and his life and like how he was useless, dropped out of school to go steal from people, and then boom, gets half his body blown up. They should take his life and play it in school and be like, "You want you want to drop out of school? This was going to happen to you." <laughs> uh, yeah. And by the way, I gotta say, I don't like uh, Pillar Five, whatever her name is. She's really, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I really as far as I can tell, nobody likes her. <laughs> her indecisiveness is just, oh my gosh. Like legit, I'm watching a Crunchyroll. I scroll down before the episode starts. First Why comment, you do that, Brian? please Spoilers. kill this pink haired girl. What? Spoilers, man. Why would you do that? Oh no, usually I have to do it. It's just funny. It's funny. It's like, please kill this pink haired girl. Off. She's <laughs> what language was that? <laughs> Why would you do that? You know, the funny. <laughs> Dude, nobody likes her, and I can see why. She's a fucking. Prick. Yeah, I haven't. Uh... Uh, that's another one. Oh, actually, I guess I could go to like the Reddit episode just to see if anybody else says it as well. But I just kept thinking, like, I just she's so annoying. Yeah. I hope she just goes to like the enemies just so they can, you know, kill her later. Um, she's that person when you have meetings and everyone's like, "Okay, it's someone's week to turn uh, to bring a snack for the company." And, you know, people like bust out some good snacks from Costco or something. She's that one who just bring like carrot sticks. I'm like, hi guys, this is, and I have some leftover dip. <laughs> it like. Go away. Go away. Go to the closet. <laughs> Dude, I, I was like, if I, I would just expect her to just not bring anything. 
Or just not even show up for class. Or she would take food from you. <laughs> or just take your food, yeah. I mean, she has a thief. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but she's kind of useless, right? Like, unless she... Like, she's going to have to develop something to be more worthwhile. But, like, as a, as a pillar, as a fifth pillar, I expected more from her, too. But not only is she annoying, but her powers are kind of bland, right? It's kind of useless. I think the only... Th- the only reason like her power would be even be good is because she can just sense fires before they happen. Right. Um, yep. I think that's going to be her only like, like usefulness, like her ability. It's like, like the stop and go thing. It doesn't even seem that strong, but then again, it is facing against basically the hype man. So it, it which was already doesn't look like anything's happening to this guy. Yeah. I mean, if anything, she could probably play a support role, but that's about it. Uh, she's yeah. really lacking the power to do anything. Oh she's yeah. She's definitely powerful. support. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think she needs to sacrifice herself and give her powers to Vulcan. I think that would be a good trade off. <laughs> or she needs to be a Dr. Giovanni victim. Hey, I'm going to make you do something. How are you going to make me do it? Oh, I got this girl right here. <laughs> and then the best thing would be like he kills her, but nobody cares. I was like, yeah, just, just take her out. God. Yeah, yep. but next episode should be good. I mean, besides that, we had the, the Arthur versus the, um, the second pillar fight. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, Saku. yeah. yeah Saku. Saku. Somebody called that. Somebody called that she was going to face off against, or he was going to face Mark? off against her. I think it was Koo. Yeah. Okay. No, I thought that it was going to be uh, Arthur who was going to show up and help out. Uh, uh, oh, Shindra. just kidding. Uh, I think it was Brian. I think Brian was the one that called it out. Was that? Was it me? I, I just remember because I watched season one recently. He was the one who, who could negate her yeah. electrical abilities. So, right. Yeah. yeah. That, that's all I really remember. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, but I hope he cuts off her head. She is so annoying. Yeah, I I feel like it's gonna be one of those. Do you guys think it's gonna be one of those situations where she gets away again and Probably. they face her again yeah. later? I can't see her. Wait, wait, how here. many? How many people are there in Company Eight? I don't know. <sighs> the count. There's there's <clears throat> Cap, Captain, Lieutenant, uh, Maki. There's Shinra, Tamaki, Arthur, Vulcan, and Lich. So eight. yeah, but uh, and, he's, he's and, not and, and a sister. So a nine. I think there's nine. All right. Really. So let's get rid of of Victor because you know he's gonna betray them anyways. I guarantee <laughs> totally you. The, type. Yeah. <laughs> the final, they're each gonna have someone they they confront. Whether it's gonna be like as pairs or as one on one, but I feel like the way season one ended, they're gonna do this similar thing, but with all these uh evangelist people, the KKK the cultists. Yep. We keep saying Evangelist, yeah. but Vianch is the main guy. He's the main bad guy. I don't know. I don't remember. Listen, the name man, they believe in is. him. They Let's do. call him the cult. It's the cult. like white cloth. I don't, I'm telling you, just KKK. <laughs> you know, and that's what's going to stick. So fine, the KKK it is. <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> I can see them. I can. I can basically see everybody just doing you know, doing one v one against all the pillars. I don't think. I don't think so. You think uh, it's going to be kind of like taking like taking out the pillars, kind of like as a group. Like one by one or something, or right? Uh, there has to be somewhat of significance to fight each other. I mean, you got Shinra versus Show, of course, and then you got Arthur versus Himura, right? The the brain control chick, yeah. and then mm-hmm. uh, for the other ones, I I can see maybe the captain or someone else coming in, but um, I, again, I don't think kind of like how season one ended, right? They're they're probably going to fight like the sub boss and not really like the main boss. Um. Probably. So I think it'll probably play out just like play uh, like season one again. Seems like the first pillar, she's gonna be like the the sub boss of this arc. She, she's like the main focus. Oh yeah, the psychic girl or whatever. Yeah, the one who's in your head. Yep. Hey guys, I don't think she'll be the sub boss. I think she'll be the like the the final boss. To be honest, you know, the, really? You think so? You don't think that Evan uh, Evangelius is not gonna be the final boss? Nope. Okay. Hmm. He is. It's gonna be Anjuman from Digimon. Watch. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> I got two more wigs. <laughs> well, this is where you've been all these years. What the? F- oh my goodness! Oh man, that guy's a horrible yeah. interior designer. Just black flames and then white space. Everybody's naked in this world. Yep, that's sure, okay. It seems legit. Seems legit. Yep. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I don't think that's the case. Like, if anything, there'll be a season three, and then uh, the first pillar is going to be the uh, the final boss. And like, I'm pretty sure at this point. I'm pretty sure by the end of season two or in the middle of it, like Shinra is going to be able to bring Show back, and then season three is going to be like everyone working together to figure out uh, how to save Shinra's mom and like just to get rid of this whole like evangelist thing altogether. 
See, I feel like um, like you know, show's not going to really join them until like the like the end of the whole sh- like basically at the end of the whole show where basically where he just like joins like with them there, and yeah. then like from there then they face off like with uh, whomever for you know to get their mom or right. try to save their mom. Yeah, that's what I just feel like what's going to happen. But I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, hopefully he dies though because that would be a worthy sacrifice. <laughs> show. And then Shinra has to wear his hair as a wig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why uh, he would do that. It's pretty messed up. Okay. But yeah, yeah. that's the, David. Please don't say that again, David. That's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> this, this episode kind of felt like anyway because like the, was it the the third episode made it feel like it was a lot more like they they kind of hyped up yeah, the, hyped up and then build up. Yeah. The fourth episode was good, but I feel like the fifth episode is, is going to be like the I main. Mean, again, like just the pacing was like off. Like yeah, yeah. But, I, but it's like I feel like next episode is gonna be kind of like the. Do you guys think it's like the next episode is gonna be like the last one of this I, fight? I and hope then it is. Just, I, I think we kind of, I think we got enough of what we needed from finding the fifth pillar. So I hope they wrap it up and then move on. Like I'm surprised how long they've actually went like uh, went on going with this because like normally they're they're like they actually wrap it up pretty quick in the previous seasons. Was it, I mean, it was only. Um, the episode, I think it's normal. It's but only it's normal. It was only it's like episode three and four because. Right. because because the first two we didn't they weren't really related as much and then last episode was when like the fifth pillar stuff came up and then mm-hmm. oh, that's and then true. we have this gotcha. episode so it's not really it's not like it's a long arc or anything it's just in this specific section fair enough yeah, yeah. okay yeah i'm pretty sure of all the build up it's going to end with this episode that one guy from uh my hero academia is going to show up the guy we all thought was a good villain and by all i mean like david and i who? I forgot his name already. Overhaul, oh, overhaul. Chisaki, yeah, overhaul. Yep. Oh, Chisaki's right. gonna oh, show yeah. up. He's like, "Hey guys, I got my hands back." Disappoint us all. What do you guys think about this filler episode for next week? All right, this is a filler idea. You see a shot of the fourth captain. You know the guy with the scars and the glasses, and you see him from the neck up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah," <laughs> and then. <laughs> the camera pans down and you see him just pouring oil over his body as he's in a oh, bathtub God, no. and he has a match. He's no. like, let me feel these flames, babe. <laughs> uh, I think that'd right be a there. good work. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Sasha, if you, you get, get that, if you get that right, I will Venmo you hundred dollars. Sounds good. Thanks. Same, bro. <laughs> I got you, man. By the way, fourth captain's my favorite character by far. All right. Well, I can tell. <laughs> Who's the? Oh, never mind. He <laughs> <laughs> be the guy you're going camping. He just starts rolling in the fire. Oh yes. <laughs> Let me feel that fire. <laughs> Who wants some s'mores? God. I hope he makes a return again. He's a good character. I'm sure he, he will. I got nothing else. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> We're gonna hit there with Sasha's great description <laughs> of the fourth captain. <laughs> keep that in mind for next week yeah i got you that's gonna be it for for fire force and then we're moving next to re-zero uh so this episode a lot of lore dump uh, a lot of things to question and go through um so basically the um the 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 witch of of greed um ketna yeah ketna she basically explained that there's a whole bunch of other different witches of the greeds or uh, the, the seven deadly sins. And she just, yeah, she went through all of them. I don't know where I get through all of them in the show, but like there's a lot. And then, um, and then basically something, there's just the whole, like the whole interaction with like the tea party, like between her and Saru was just like, it was in that hour mention it was really weird. And then she also mentioned too, how like, like it's super rare for anyone to like, even come in contact with her. And then like, Mm-hmm. And then she, I mean, I know at the end she gave like um, Subaru like the option to do the trial, but like there's there's like a lot of lore in between. I'm, I'm I guess I'm missing. Could you want to help me out here? Like, no. Uh, the thing is, is that they threw in like who all the other witches were, yeah, and then what their specialties were, right? A lot of lore dump, like you mentioned, but it felt like they were just rushed through it. And then after that, that serious uh, moment that they had, they kind of did a 180. It made it more of a comedic. Uh, they went towards like a comedic route. I just so it was it was kind of weird. I just remember like yeah like um she was saying like if you can ask me anything you know because no one 
get raised this opportunity and then super's like nah bro i'm out yeah i'm good i'm good fam <laughs> just show me the door and and then uh she give, she give me, uh, to, give me back to amelia so i can sip on her more right and then after that right before like he was gonna leave it got serious again it's like, okay i'll make sure that you can uh do the uh the trial too and then you know he gets kicked out of the the garden and then all of a sudden he's forgotten what happened uh, oh and then before i did i, I did remember too how like they were saying like all the different things that the witches did like um like one of the witches like like she she put the dragon to sleep because i remember like wasn't one of the the royal like one of the things about the kingdom was that like they're something it's something like about like the dragon being asleep i remember that yeah being true part of lore. and then like and then the other one was about i think someone made like the white whale or something and yeah, but but again, it was just kind of like a like a lord. A lot of she lord went dump, through, yeah. they went through all the six other witches, and then she introduced herself. And it's like, okay, how do you expect me to remember all this? Yeah. Well, plus, and instead of diving more into it, they just like just push it to the side. Yeah, well, plus and also she did show that um yeah that I think we already knew this, but that Satelia basically like, killed them all, and like I think mm -hmm. I think she took her power, took all their powers, or I don't remember, but like, basically I think basically mm -hmm. they're all doing their own thing, and like they're. And then to tell you, I just like just basically like wipe them all out. So I think it's supposed to show right. how strong she is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they'll probably touch base on that later on as well. Because I don't even know if they plan to touch base with all of them again, or they're just gonna pick one, kind of like how last season yeah. they went with uh, Beetlegus or whatever. Um, so maybe they'll they introduce the other witches, but they're just gonna focus on Echidna this this season. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be so. just Echidna. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, it's whatever. I don't think it really matters as much. So it's yeah. fine. Yeah. So that was like the the lore dump. I, I guess like the first half and the second half, we go to the the village and then I was gonna say to Stray and like get your damn Bakko off, off every show because of course his voice actor shows up. Who is he now? Who is on the familiar? Yeah. Wait, who who is it? It's, it's uh, Garfield. It's, it's Garfield. Yeah. You're gonna have to watch to find out. Oh man, that's that's a lot to ask. Yeah. So. So Garfield shows up, and then they go to the village, and then you find out, oh wait, you're, you're trapped in this village, and we find out that um the Roswell he actually he actually was trying, I guess what, save the village by doing the trial, but like you have to be mixed blood to do it, so, so he just got fucked, and that's why he hasn't been able to leave and come back to the mansion. Mm -hmm. And then Garfield was being super sketchy too, like the whole, I guess like he, because I think he's half mixed too. And he yeah, wants he's mixed as well. Yeah, so he wants to leave, but like no one can do the trial. I don't I don't think they even explain why he couldn't do himself why he couldn't do himself either. He just they basically all wait for Amelia to come and do it. Well, even though he qualified, he just couldn't pass the trial. So I'm sure it has something oh, else oh, to do with it. Yeah, okay. No, I right. do remember like saying he uh, he was saying that he wish if he could do it, he could he would he would. Okay. I do remember that at the end. Oh no, yeah, he said he said he tried already and it okay. didn't work. So, so. Yeah. And then everyone there sucks. Oh, and then the very end too, where like where he says something about like you have to confront your past when he like he he because he was chasing Amelia and he gets like he like like blacks out and then um he uh he like was it goes in a dream and this sees like his old room with his dad. Is it a dream, David? Dad, or is like, he finally dad. back to the real world? I think it's a dream. I don't know, man. That's kinda of, it's kinda of creepy, bro. If you wake up and your dad just comes in half naked. <laughs> That's gonna uh, be me when I'm a dad. I'm a literally wake up my son, body slamming his ass. Like, yo, wake the fuck up, dude. I mean, I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to call CPS on you, sir. How? How? <laughs> you don't just body slam your son half naked when he wakes up. That's Wait, what, what, time day, what time of day was this? Uh, in the morning, I guess. Literally, in the, are we well, sure? I mean, it's a dream because it's hard to tell. So, I'm pretty sure it's a dream okay. because, like. Because he, I don't think he would be transported all the way back to his present time. So, well, you don't know. It says it has to do with his past, and technically, anything in the human world is his past, right? So, I mean, it could be anywhere really. Before he was transported to this world, because I'm just assuming it's part of the trial, and like when, like when, uh, when Amelia passed out too, it was like it was part of her, her trial too. Mm -hmm. So. So, I mean, I don't know if they were dropping any hints or not as to what you had to do in this trial at all. Like, I wonder if you would have no, to... No, I don't think so. 
like I wonder if you have to kill like a loved one or you have to forgive someone for something that they've done to you. Because the only thing I can think of is right with Amelia, she she was given that name and she has that look of the of that one witch, and that's why she's kind of cursed in a sense. Like no one really likes her or like they're afraid of her. And then Subaru, I guess there's a reason why he's a neat. So maybe it's his dad's fault that he turned out to be the way that he is. So that'd be fucked um, up. Right, I mean, you, I mean, you, you don't know, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it, Japan, it is, the way it is, it is a fucked up show, so I, I shouldn't be surprised. Right, so. but that's the only connection I can see between the million and him, and then what they can possibly do to overcome their past or whatever. So, um, otherwise, there wasn't really any other hints given. So, just a lot of lower dumps. So, but like mm-hmm. again, they're back with the cliffhangers. Like, oh god, another season of this. It's fine. It keeps you on your toes. And it's uh, it's it's really enjoyable yeah. so far. No, no, I really enjoy this season. This season so far, but like, uh, hmm. the, the cliffhanger is the first time we're they're unbearable, and we still haven't hit like the the death loops yet, or like the second one. So right. like, uh, that's pretty good for uh, for him only dying once in three episodes. I know, right? It's like he's learning, huh? Like it's his second season. Uh, I mean, is he learning or is he getting lucky? I just think nothing. (laughs) I don't know, man. Nothing's really happened yet. Like he hasn't really. Like I mean, maybe it's luck because he was gonna die when Garfield threw him out the first time when he came back from the garden, but the 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 bird or the lizard was able to catch him with the carriage, so he didn't take. uh, Oh yeah, the fatal damage, right? Yeah. (laughs) Would he have died from that? I don't know. He's probably. He's a bitch. Hey, hey, he's a normal human being of the world of monsters, sir. All right, calm down. Yeah, that's fair, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I there's, there's also like this, it's always been hints of him like being like stronger than he looks. Cause, like, I think there's <laughs> like, cause I'm pretty sure they were saying how before he was neat, I think he was like an athlete or something. So mm-hmm. he, he did some kind yeah. of swordsman training. Yeah. Being an athlete isn't going to help you against magic, sir. No, it's not. But he's not like useless like all, our, all the other isekai. Main characters, yeah. uh, Cosma MVP. He has magic, so that doesn't... he's still better though. Okay. Actually, there's one more. There's one more AC guys. I don't know why I went to Cosma first, but you, know. <laughs> you can't bring Cosma from from <laughs> Korosuba into this when it's like two opposite themes, sir. All right, I know, right? Hey, but he's not useless though. He wishes he was useless. But... No, because don't. It's different. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, we'll keep it for something else. Or for for a different day. Jeez. So yeah, but but other than that, there wasn't really much else going on. Just, I mean, it's uh, just it's just dissecting the lore dump. Like so many things happen mm-hmm. that like I guess like we could sit sit here and like just like try to analyze everything. But like I'm just gonna wait till next week's episode, see what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna take two more episodes to kind of resolve the trial. Though I think the next episode is gonna be him dealing with his past and then they're going to give you another cliffhanger of him being teleported back to the trial yeah. and then it's going to take another episode to finish the trial probably i don't know if it'll be that easy to like to finish the trial because i feel like that's set it up so that um i don't know it feels like it's gonna be more drawn out mm, i mean it's a possibility unless they plan to make it a uh a thing where he's constantly traveling back and forth from the yeah. real world to the uh to the current world yeah. so I wonder too if if like if he, the next death loop is him like going back to the room with um, Echidna and him actually having to ask the questions. So mm, I want to say there has to be something that was accomplished before a quick save is activated. So I think they would have to pass the trial first before any of that is saved. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. So so pretty exciting season so far. Um, that's gonna be it for ReZero. Uh remember we're next to Snafu, so Strand can finally join. Okay, first before we start, I wanna see like Brian, how come you're not enjoying this this season? This episode was like I the, just the best. could care less, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> Even with all like the Hachiman stuff this episode? I mean he had his moments. Oh my I god. I just couldn't care anymore, dude. Where the hell crossed out my third note can go suck it? I don't know. Who, I assume David was. He was the first one laughing. But anyway, but I don't know. This episode was basically was like was like the reason like I like actually like ended up really liking Snafu and basically they just thought Hachiman was the best anime character of all time. Just so many like so many of his reactions and things he said was just it was just so good. It was so I funny. I didn't think this week's episode was actually 
that strong. But... Did you push Crunchyroll? Yes. But like, you poor, poor fool. It wasn't, it wasn't the dialogue, it's just like, I don't know. Is hey, everyone, everyone just getting set up? On that one interaction he had with Blue Hair's like brother, and it's like, yo, don't call me big brother. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking suplex you. I was like, damn, that was pretty funny. But it's just like, the overall thing, but it's been five years. And I've lost my time. Oh my show. god. Oh like, my god. It's it's been too long for me to like actually care about the character. Oh my god. It's like I re- I don't remember their names anymore. Or orange hair girl. Like, or pink hair, whatever the fucking hair she has, right? Yuri. I I like do I wanna stay around to see her heart get broken? Not really. She's too like it sucks when you see such a happy person. Get their heart fucking broken. It's like, do I want to stick around and watch this happen? I like Not always really. Trust and then like the freaking monotone ass. Well, I forgot her name. You can know. You can know. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck her. Man. Jeez. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. After it's this been episode, too long to give a shit anymore, man. Like after this episode, Yukino you know, is currently ranked third on my uh, top. Th- uh, like on my my wife who ranking for Snafu. So is it safe um, to assume that Yui is Brian's number one girl, or was? I, is that why he doesn't like this? Is uh, yours, Brian? My number one? Like, yeah. I don't care anymore. Brian, okay, what? Who was it before? Before your heart got broken, who was it, sir? I don't even remember what happened. It's a thing. Tell uh, me. I don't know. Like, I the interaction between Yukino and Hachiman is like they're both like emotionless, so I can like. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at that because it's just two people without emotion interacting with each other. That shit's funny as hell. How do you, well, how like, do you mean that? Like, how are they emotionless? Is they're not emotionless? They just afraid dude. They're just to... so monotone. It feels emotionless. I mean, Tachiman's more sarcastic. That's fine, but right. Yukino's more emotionless, but like, yeah, she's more she she's more she's the one more monotone. Whereas Tachiman's more sarcastic. Brian, did you ever watch the OVA? Yeah, with the, the, the like, one with Hachiman and Iroha. Yeah, Iroha. Okay. Probably, I like Iroha. How old is she? She's, she's one, one year, year younger. younger. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay. I don't know. I'd like. It's, I feel like. Say it, dude. Say it. I, I know like, her. Yuki was like dead last. Like yes, she just, she just, <laughs> yes. She just doesn't do anything. Wait, Good what question. does her mom do again? What does she do? Like, why is she such a big boss? Uh, I don't know if she does let, anything. She's probably like yeah, she's, she's, person's control, wife. she's like probably like from like a like a rich family or something. So she probably like gets to control what the family does. Yo, what a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... Brian, when you, when you're a person of power, you have to make sure that everything is set up perfectly so your <laughs> name doesn't get ruined. You know? Does she have the power though, or is it the husband? Oh, man, it doesn't well, matter. It's, like... it's the husband, I mean, but the I'm hus- assuming that the husband's a politician. You know. But like, I'm pretty sure the husband married. It sounds like the husband married into the wife's rich family. Oh, I see. I mean, Did they sign a prenup. Do we know that? <laughs> Does Japanese yeah, people believe in is prenups? That, is, are prenups a thing in Japan? I don't, I don't know. You break up with me, you lose your life. That's basically what it is. Yeah, basically. I have no idea. But, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I honestly thought, like, when like these like certain things happened in this episode, I thought, like, all right, this is gonna be the episode where you know Brian remembers like how good Hachiman is. And how good like this show can be with uh, comedy, like at least. Even though I wasn't I mean, expecting any com- any kind of comedy this season, just because of the last season was just so dramatic. Yeah. But, so, sorry, like, Dan, so, so I mean, like, all they really did was just like just barely dance and like the prom thing, like the. Dude, but all the Hachiman things were like awesome. What? It's where where he was basically ta- where that one person was, just, he was calling uh he was calling Hachiman, like, you know, okay, when that, he that one him, thing doing, in the beginning, like, yeah. Not even just that, but also, like, when he was, like, first, like, be, like, being dressed up, and he's basically just, like, he commented on, like, how his own looks, and he was just saying, like, he, he basically just looked, looked uh, like a roughed-up pianist on the verge of death. Okay. And it was, uh, and it was just, like, those, those scenes, like, those scenes, even, things. like, the, yeah, it was just, well, those are the only two scenes, the only two ones that I wrote, wrote down. I still really like, basically, Hachiman's and Iroha's back and forth. Like, those scenes are always, us, uh, are always the best. And, like, for some reason, it just seems like Hachiman and Yukino's, uh, like, like I guess, like, back and forth are always, they're just, they're just not nearly as good. Um, it's just, like, uh, like, Iroha has a lot more fun with it. Like, even, I'm even starting to like Yui more now. And just because, like, from this last episode, and then and just, like, knowing more about Yukino, like, in her past, like, it's just, it's just, okay. it's just, like, I just don't care. Okay, cool. I, which is, I never would have thought. Could you agree with this? 
Not really, no. No. But... Like, I think he's just, he's basically, just, he's putting, he's throwing away the two seasons that we had and just, like, just, just tunnel visioning on just, just the, the first no. three episodes we had so far. There wasn't much of Yuki, you know, like, really, we even, like, found about her past, like, in the previous two seasons. Uh, a lot of, like, we, we, spot, we, we, like, uh, we really didn't see anything about, like, of Iroha. The only reason why, like, I know is just because of the OVA. Um, I but, mean, Iroha's uh, always kind of been kind of the same, right? She's more of the T. She's a younger classman. Yeah, but I mean, uh, she's, just, she's just more fun of a character. Right, right. No, I get that. I mean, you can know, it's just basic. Um, I would say, like, basic is very relative. Yeah, okay, okay. But so that was probably the she's, correct term. She, she has a very complex uh, personality that if if you're not willing to kind of, like, dive deeper into her her, her character... Yeah, I can kind of see Brian's point. Like, she's kind of monotone. She's yeah. kind of average, you know. I, I and I get that, but uh, again, if you go back to season one and you kind of remember everything and you know think about how it's building up, like there's just a lot going on with her that she's trying to get sorted out right now, and that's kind of the premise of season three. It looks like as well. Other I, than, I go ahead. Yeah, other than trying to solve this like love triangle that they have, like it's one of the main uh, topics that they're trying to. I'll go over. So I feel like we're. I feel like the light novel is probably explaining it way better than what like the anime is showing us right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably, um, probably. It, it definitely feels like yeah. There's like pretty. It, it feels like there's fairly big gaps in between stuff where Ooh. I just feel like there should be like stuff in between or that we're just completely missing. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I just get the feeling of that. Um, I haven't because I'm too like I'm still too scared to look up Reddit just because I don't want I don't want this to be ruined for me. I just because I, I don't want to all of a sudden see something like that just completely ruins it for me, and I just want to find that person and give him a box of chocolates. Um, and uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, so like you say back and forth with like Hachiman Yeraha, but like it's I don't really see it from Hachiman. It just feels like he just takes. Probably, it. Probably interact. Uh, well, I think like, well, I think the reason like well, Hachiman actually like I think brushes either brushes it off or kind yeah, of plays so with like just, into just, it well. He just well. takes it. It's not really back and forth. He with it too though yeah um, i don't know like i mean he he doesn't go along with it no well he didn't at the beginning but like but now though he like actually he's like he's beginning to like know iroha like how she works and everything and yeah. then how was able to work with it um and uh yeah right and, and like i said i get it with, with these three different girls there's like three different levels there's the assertive one and then there's the uh like the brave one but still kind of shy, and then you got the the basic one that's really reserved and doesn't really do yeah. anything. So yeah, there's a three different levels, and I I see that you just like it when a girl is assertive. So that's totally fine, man. That's that's <laughs> okay. Cool too. Maybe it's just my thing. Yeah, but, maybe it's just that. My best girl in this is blue hair girl. That's it. She's, she's not part too. of this right now, right? She she's a side character right now. She's, she's good too, though. Yeah. yeah. If if I if I would have had her I in this, hope she brand. wins just to shit on all of you guys. <laughs> I honestly hope that she wins just to okay. fucking take a dumb on every one of your chests. So I've said this like you know every episode. I probably will continue saying it every episode. Like no matter what happens, like if he does end up with somebody, I'm gonna feel so bad for the other people, and I'm gonna cry because of it. No, but, no um, remorse, dude. What's up? No remorse. They they all deserve to lose except for blue hair girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yui doesn't deserve any of this. She just is in a bad predicament right now. Um, she's screwed. So I, w- I would feel bad for her because it feels Fair like enough. she's totally Yui's screwed. Yui is the on only this. exception. Everybody else in S and D. Yeah. yeah. I mean, her a few of her moments with Hachiman were really good this episode as well. And, yeah, like, and, they're, yeah. and they're all genuine too. So that's oh, yeah. why it, oh, yeah. it's it's really hard to see her go through this. She so. is the most in love with this man. I, yeah, I honestly I would probably. She deserves to them, and then yeah. we all know what's gonna happen. She's not gonna get them. Yeah, I know. Like already, yeah. man. Like, just like watching the opening, like like the lyrics and stuff. It just feels like, oh god, like you know, it's not gonna be like some sort of like just sweet ending, like you know how everything else is. Right. Like, it's gonna be. It's gonna be the real deal. It's gonna be the real shit, and it's gonna be very depressing. But another really funny moment, David, I forgot was just like the whole situation too with uh with his sister, and then uh. Uh, I think her is her name Saki. Saki, Saki yeah. Kawasaki Saki, yes. Oh, Saki, okay. Like, like the whole thing with the, her brother as well. Like that whole thing was just hilarious. Yeah. Where she like kind of cried for Hachiman, but then she was just bawling to Yui and Yukino. That basically she got in. Yeah, I thought that was good. I mean, yeah, it was good in the beginning, sure, but I don't know. I didn't really think. I didn't think much of the rest of the episode. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm only <laughs> in love with my comedy, I guess. 
even when the when Yui was basically when they're saying like, oh, you know, tighten up the waistline, and basically just <laughs> destroys her, um, Saki, with basically just like tightening it up. I mean, sure, but I didn't think that was that I funny. Was, I just feel like like this. There's too much. There's too much comedy in this episode, so I just feel like everything's just going to be extremely dramatic after this. And um, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, again, it also might be due to the fact that our subs is worse than the ones that you're watching, so maybe we're not getting it as well as you are. But or are you still watching? You're still watching Country? Yeah, just just because I, I don't. don't... Know it's the subs, man. It's just like I, I don't. I think you're putting too much emphasis on that. I think it's just. I don't know. I don't know. When you, that's the one thing I remember it's, seeing in Reddit. It's only, it's only like people. it's only when it's like the three in the, in the conversation that's when like, it gets complicated. But this, that's not what happened here. It's just. But yeah, I mean, but for Reddit though, for subs, I, I just remember people were trashing the shit out of Crunchyroll subs, mm. uh, and then like the, the guy was saying like the only like decent ones were MTBB because for mm. some reason Kami subs isn't doing it anymore. Um, Brian, where are you watching Crunchyroll subs or what? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, it, yeah, sadly, I wish Kami subs was subbing it, but they're not. They're on. They're MIA. Sadly. I don't know. Like... But. Man, now I wish I watched both versions. I think I think you're placing too much emphasis on the subs. So see, normally I would, but then it's just like just from like that was like one of the few things I actually saw on Reddit, like the first like one of the first episodes where he was That's, just yeah, absolutely. The first, I'm saying, yeah, sure. Like it's many the interactions with three. I'm just saying this episode. I think you're putting. Too well, much emphasis. I think sec. I think the second episode would have been tough for the, for also getting the subs as well, just because there was a few kind of like those. Uh, I think we even explained it too. Like a lot of the stuff that like they were talking about was so deep that we're like. Or like there was just so much to it. We're like, yeah, I think this is what happened. That's all we got. And I feel like that was like, but this episode, no, I would agree that there's not, there wasn't too many of those episodes. There are too too many of those scenes. It was mainly just kind of, you know, happy-go-lucky, just kind of comedy episode, which I don't think there's going to be any more of that. Yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, if we go through the whole season and I'm still at a loss once it's done, <laughs> I might have to rewatch the whole series with better subs. Um, I'm, but... I'm, yeah, I'm going to first probably go to Reddit because there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm sure that they're covering right now, but I'm just too scared to, to get things ruined. So. Yeah. But no, I mean, I enjoyed it, though. Like, I didn't like I, I enjoyed all the uh, the subtle jokes and all the interactions. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, it was, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just yeah. I feel I feel like um like our season review episode of this is going to be extremely long because like when we like when the final episode is actually watched, then I am not going to be like holding back looking at anything. Okay. It's going to be I'm going to look up tons of stuff on Reddit. Basically, just like I'll go episode by episode trying to like understand like what people were like you know what people were saying or what may have been missed from the light novel and just have like a just kind of like a those, those feelings you had in the past five years. Yep, and basically then I'm just gonna start breaking down and crying, and it's okay. No matter what happens, I'll be ha- I'll be happy for Hach- Hachiman. There's no way this writer's gonna you know bring my boy down. You never know. You think? Put a lot of hope I on that. I swear to God, a lot, <laughs> to God. A lot <laughs> of hope on that, sir. Oh my God, I swear no, to God. I don't think it's gonna be Hachiman. It's not gonna be Hachiman. Oh. I get screwed over. It'll be someone else. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the girls. I, we'll I would see. honestly be okay with like if it was some sort of thing where he doesn't end up with anybody, but they all end no, up finding like their I own. I hate thing. that. Don't what, David? really? No, that's I'm such actually a okay with ending. That. What do you mean? Okay, well, okay, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. If that happens, we'll we'll talk about it. But if not, yeah, we'll we'll, 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 we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, I'm good. Yeah, I don't even know what to. Do. I don't even know what to expect next episode. I don't even remember what happened. Um, it's or just what more the preview prom was. Stuff, so more prom stuff. Got it. We'll talk about prom next week and how I didn't go. Uh, what what Japanese people think <laughs> what? prom is. What? <laughs> uh, moving on. Yeah. Well, that's how we get for Snafu. So we're going to move on next to Sword Art Online. Woohoo! Woo. Oh my god. This episode. I just want to mention the one thing is that like the whole point of like when they're mentioning like the, the, the Chinese and Korean players are coming and they're saying how oh it's because the Japanese players like hack our servers and do all this. I'm like no one would ever believe this because Japanese people, they don't play PC games, so they don't hack other servers. <laughs> That's like the most For unrealistic one. part about it. Hey man, this might be different because what, what is this, in 2025? It might be different in five years? No, it's not. Six years, actually. It's 2026. Oh, is this 2026? My bad. Yeah, Six but... years, yeah. Dude, Japanese people, they don't <laughs> hack PC games, man. They don't play PC games. Dude, just think. Well, oh. That's in like five or six years from now. We're nowhere near that. <laughs> like this type of game. I mean, it's depressing. I mean, the new anyway. year is supposed to come on two years, so. 
Yeah. Not seeing that. Not seeing it happen. Anyway, no, I, I thought the whole thing was like really dumb too. That's, with, that's like, all uh, I just want to mention, just the Chinese and Korean yeah. players. Like, oh, also, the fact that um, it just sounds like like the American players, <laughs> they 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 couldn't finish the job. So yeah, yeah, bringing the real players. Well, I like how you have like you basically have like China and Korea, and of all those players, only one person thought of like, hmm, this doesn't sound right, and it's just like, couldn't they just do this? And it's just like, oh my god, like Christ. Like, definitely there'd be more than one person who, like, would think about this. Oh, like, just the whole, like, you know, the whole situation. Like, one dude out of, like, thousands of quote-unquote beta testers fucking was like, this makes zero sense. If this guy was an admin, couldn't he just wipe the server? Uh, Really just shut it down? Yeah, Yeah, they're like, nah, we're just here for the ride, you dumb American. (laughs) Again, this yeah, author bro. just doesn't know anything about technology. He's just a, a, a fanfic writer. At least, for, at least for Shokugeki, like he actually had like somebody that like knew cooking. He brought him in. This person's like, no, 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 no. I got this. This is easy. And he ended up somehow making it right. But oh, um, at the beginning of the episode, like, did did we kind of like? I knew there was like a little bit about like the like, the pud- pudgelist, puglist, pudgel- pugilist, pugilist, pugilist. Sure, pugilist. Yeah. Pugilist. Oh yeah. That and, the, and like the cursed sword chick, like basically, where they're just like, "Oh, I want to have your babies." I'm like, "When the fuck did this happen? Like, when the hell was this like, relationship?" When, no, but when, the, the, when they were the fighting season. each other, when they were they fighting, they found their internal love for each other. Well, they fought, but yeah, but was, was it then though, or was it because like, it basically like they fought, but then they immediately went to like basically fighting into like these other people, yeah. and then we, we never saw them again until now. Yeah, so it was just then, and then now, and then it was just that realization that oh, I'm about to die. My life is flashing before my eyes. He's like, oh, shit, I wish I would have seen her one more time. And she's like, oh, shit, I want to have his babies. And it's like, yeah, love story. Yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely feel like there's a lot of in-between stuff that was also missed out on. Anyway, no, I, I, just, I, just, just really bad writing. Enough? Okay, okay, my bad. It's really bad writing. Yeah. I just like, it was the first oh. chick that didn't fall in love with Kirito. But I guess it's... Yeah, didn't have the chance. She, I don't think she'd... New Kirito? Probably Did not. she? Did she? Probably not. I'm just no. saying, like, it's it's just out there. You gotta make every girl fall in love with Kirito. It's fine. Yeah, she, doesn't like, she, she just doesn't like she, vegetables. At least she known finally admitted it, dude. It's like, yeah, I real I really like Kirito, and so do six other women. <laughs> even though he's married. No dude. No yeah, dude. Even though he's married, you know. He's not so married, cool. guys. He's just a, like attached to her it's his girlfriend in real life but in the game they're, they're married no, they're they're actually married in real life aren't they no i don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember. they're still teenagers going to school okay, aren't they even they're not married that they're like stop people they're in a long-term relationship like right everyone right. needs to calm down like oh, all these God. thirsty girls yeah yeah i'm also I, I i don't know i'm just getting tired of laughing coffin who i know you had a really good point about basically the whole laughing coughing thing that uh Kind of destroyed my destroyed my part. Uh, not that, really destroyed, that's the but... bad writing part that Koo can <laughs> get into again. Oh. Go ahead. Oh Koo. yeah. Go so, ahead. so yeah. Like uh, I think Strano was mentioning, like didn't the laughing coffin get disbanded? Because uh, like throughout the whole series, like all the series, uh, always, there's always yeah. been bits and pieces. Oh, like we did a raid on their secret base and we got rid of them. And then in Gun Gale, like oh nope, there's a few of us still alive. And then uh, Kirito gets rid of a couple of the guys, and then it turns out that this guy was the main leader. So there's still one left. I think this might be the last guy, but I mean, for all we know, there's another guy hiding somewhere. There'll be another one. Um, yeah. But then there's basically, another. they made it seem like this is going to be the very last arc or very last story of Sword Art because it looks like they're bringing out all the main villains, like all the bosses, right? You got you got this guy, the, the boss of Laughing Coffin popping up. You got... Um, the other guy, uh, Subalizer or whatever, like the main boss or the main guy from Gun Gale. Yeah, I don't even remember uh, him from Gun Gale, but that was a long time ago. So. Yeah. yeah, like earlier on, yeah, I don't know. But uh, he, he was mentioned a couple times, and it's like Sinon's greatest fear in Gun Gale. Um, so they're bringing out all these big villains, and it, it's kind of stupid because like in real life, these are legit like badasses, right? Like real life murderers, killers, whatever. And then you got these guys going up against teenagers in the video game that just totally ruins their street cred. Shonen. Like, I don't know. Shonen anime. <laughs> right. What so, a- I oh. mean, ho- hopefully this is it. 
but I can't imagine them bringing up any other villains that is going to make us seem okay. like, oh shit, it's the final showdown. I mean, I just wanted to say that, like, the author probably thinks he's so clever that, like, oh, like, we're bringing back this, this, this villain that, like, he was there all along, and, like, it's just this great build-up that, just to support them throughout the story, it's like, no, you just keep bringing them out of nowhere when they should be dead. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not good. Also, uh, Ku, I think they what they already what the they confirmed that they're gonna he's going to be doing another arc another after this. Arc, yep. Yeah, so it's not the end. We have one more. Right, but it's but at this point it's like, man, it you're you're writing it so bad, and if it, it feels like you're just trying to like tie up loose ends, like what could you possibly have <laughs> like left in your like in your head as to what you? Hey, can man, yeah, milk it. Dude, the problem with his loose ends, it just ends up making more loose ends. Like if he try, if he tries to close one, he opens up like three more, and it, where it just doesn't, it, where he's just never gonna close it. Yeah. It just doesn't make because sense. Everything is built on Einkrad, like an Unreal Engine that he can yeah. just mod easily. <laughs> just like it's just Unreal yeah. Engine, and then a Steam Workshop mod. Just keep putting yeah. everything in. <laughs> Yeah, but at least at least like a Unix sandbox. Like at least before it was so outrageous that it made you like laugh about it, right? But for this episode, it was just bad, bad. It wasn't bad good in any way. It was just bad, bad. I mean so, the first episode was still pretty bad. Like it was it was bad, but it was bad good. You know, like it was why? like you could you could laugh like, about it. It made me rant. <laughs> right. You you could laugh about it. It was just like completely like like oh. outrageous situation. But for this one, it's just very cliched things, just very ordinary plot twists. If you can even call it a twist, oh, hey, I'll help you. Some random like side character that turns out to betray the guy once he's all the oh, way down yeah, here. Oh, that part. It's, and it's like, so, oh, so dramatic. oh, wow. Big yeah. brain by the author right there. Yeah, like everything here was just so, like, it was, uh, it, it was just so pathetic. I, I, I don't know. There's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing you can really like make fun of. Really, there's there's nothing drama. to work off of it for you to. I need what a, drama? Maybe he's got pull the gun or not? Too. <laughs> I need that drama. What, what dra- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. He has a gun. That's the drama right there. Oh god. There's Kinda. nothing to like. There, there, there was nothing enjoyable about this. Like I said, nothing enjoyable. Everything was like clear as day as to how it's gonna play out. I mean, I thought it was yeah. funny. Not not a good funny. It was basically like you know, just a bad funny. But, I mean, I'm just... Brian, you're so quiet, man. You're not. You're, why aren't you repping it? Like you know, you're not backing up your your show of the season. Ah, uh, you know. Hey, we got to see Berkeley at the beginning again for a little bit. Berkeley. She's called Berkeley. Berkeley. Why, <laughs> Berkeley. God damn. Why you gotta do that, dude? He's already <laughs> dead. This is his moment. He was in his prime. You know, just let the man rest in paradise. That's fair. Oh. That's fair. With his dragon. You know damn well he ain't resting in the afterlife. He's got the administrator of him, all right? So, yeah. You know, I hope they bring him back, man. He ain't coming uh, back. Uh, I already uh, miss him. Back. If if we know anything about this writing, Good. it's he... okay because they're gonna do some stupid shit. Like, yeah, his flock light is still alive. Do 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 do. We're just gonna boop reset. I mean, with their with their <laughs> with the way they explain things, it could easily happen because you know it has also the flock lights we've uh. Determined is just the power of friendship. So, sure, sure. Um, so I don't know. I, <laughs> I also okay. I also thought it was just really stupid when they first revealed like the main, like the main, like the main bad guys. Like when he first kind of like like, like just came out of like just the muck or the goop that just kind of came like, out of nowhere. And again, he's stronger than a god account. Yeah, of course, he's stronger than a god account, and he basically just looks like he just has like the where he's just able to just use powers now all of a sudden for some reason even though he's coming from gun gale mm-hmm. so i don't know <sighs> yeah that, that, that whole thing was just like oh god that just that was stupid. stupid but i mean I, I, I and that was basically to be expected where of course you know if he's not gonna come back and have a weaker account that wouldn't make any sense um but that whole kind of like this whole situation was just dumb I'm tired. I'm just tired of laughing coffin. Like their 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 time is done. Like you know, no lo- this is no longer a death game. Well, I guess it is for the AIs, but um, I, I don't know. That's about it. And it's just, they just keep bringing laughing coffins out of nowhere. They keep saying like, okay, this is the last one. This is the only one that wasn't arrested or whatever. I mean, and then uh, then in this they basically just. I'm sorry, I was referencing Gungale. And then this one, all of a sudden, there's just like, oh, he's the he's the main leader. It's just like from where? Like I thought he was in. I thought they, he basically was was arrested. Put in jail, prison, whatever. Um, 
but I was just wrong. I could also be mis- uh, mixing it up with something else. Yeah, and I guess I just feel I... like it's e- it's. I just feel like it's easier for them to keep bringing back Laughing Coffin because Iron Fred was like the prime. Well, that that and this guy has nothing. This guy has nothing else. Like he basically just keeps like. He keeps doing different stories, but then there's like nothing to it really. Well, everything comes mm-hmm. back to Iron Iron Crown, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's... And then it, it's just uh, whatever character development he ends up having, he kills them off. Yeah. And then we're, like, we're like usually last season they had a Kirito doing this dual wheel thing from Iron Crad. so it's like it's still a special skill. God, nobody can dual wield. That's right. And Not that's one wonderful. person is dual wielding in the, in the time. giant fight right now. Yeah, and then I just want plot armor. Much to it with Sharon when you say you talk about like the, like no one's signed with the AI, but it's like again like from last season like 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 the immersion every time like it gets switched between the, the underworld and like and the real world like it just breaks the immersion like because yeah. then you just keep th- keep getting reminded these are just AIs they're not real people and and then, then when they refer to like everyone else as are you from the real world it's like again it's just more breaking the immersion it's like none of you don't matter. So, yeah, it's a. I don't know, man. This it, is just I mean, becoming a trend. Of course, but like. Yeah, that was that was easily the best. But like everyone else, you know, it's like 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 <laughs> when they die, it's just it doesn't matter because we keep getting reminded they're not real people. Yeah, it's all death game. So. Yeah, I, so I don't know, man. I really don't know what this guy's gonna. I don't know what this guy's gonna do for a fl- like a final arc. I have no clue. But uh, we'll he, see. I think I mean, says like something. I think maybe doing something about the real world, but we'll see. Maybe do maybe uh, do AR again. <laughs> oh god! If I, I really don't have any faith, I mean, if people thought this arc was good, I, I don't know what. I, I really don't have. I don't. I don't know what people are thinking. Sword art fans on Reddit. God, I got baited. Fun times, man. Oh, yeah. Same. I think we all did. But yeah, that's it. I mean, we'll you know we'll find out next episode if he pulls the trigger or not. Well, okay. Was, this wasn't even like a shit on sword art segment. This was just like. Sad. It's just like let's get it over with. Yeah, that's what basically, let's turn into. It's Sao the Yuge. I don't know. It was fun for a, a first few episodes, first... but now it's just like, eh, we'll see. So let's just get over with. Yeah. I think though the next episode, I think it's gonna be that like that uh that mechanical bot. He's gonna be MVP. He's gonna take out. He's gonna take out side character B with the gun. <laughs> he's just gonna just gonna make him fall from like the top, and then he's just gonna drill him in the head or something. something I don't like know. That. Moving on. Sure. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for Sword Art, and then we want to Geki because <laughs> Strand's favorite. Guess what? It's rigged again. God, I was, I was, like right when I heard, it, I was like, "Of course, of course it is." Like, why wouldn't it be, dude? God, um, why is it gonna be always gonna be clowns? Like, that was creepy such clowns. Stupid... Every time, there's always a creepy clown. Like, clowns are creepy. Yeah, that's just a char- terrible character. Like, honestly, most of those characters are just awful character designs. Like, who the fuck goes cooking and like as like a clown? Who the hell goes cooking in a bunny costume? Hey, underworld cooking. Yeah. Oh. Ill- illegal black market cooking. Tough, and, tough, intense shit. Apparently, they have a circus there too. Yeah, yeah, apparently. I don't know, that like that whole thing was dumb, hey, and then man, basically, you're not, you're not just a clown. You're the whole circus. Oh God, it's. And then even like the, like the uh, Soma's like um, uh, was it like his first trial or the cooking thing was just the really game, like, yeah yeah where where you're able to ask this guy questions about stuff they ask him one question and they basically base it off that and then they're just like oh yeah this guy's like in the underworld he'd rather eat underworld cooking I'm like the fuck does that even mean like it's just like cause, I don't know, I don't know it's and again they didn't no show, they didn't no show it's, it's not bad it, it was yeah, bad. Show it was... It was more of a, like, what did you really want to eat? Uh, and there was two different approaches, you know. Uh, it was, or I guess there's three. There was a naive approach that, you know, you would want to eat something that reminds you of the good old days, which is why they all failed. And yeah. then you have the underworld cooking where it's like, no, you want something that will satisfy you before you die. And then uh, you want something that will like, bring you to the edge. And then you got someone who's like, you know, you guys got to think it all wrong. It's like, why are you... Uh, acting like you're gonna die, you gotta live on. You know, you want to eat something that's gonna make you want to keep on living. So those are the two different approaches. And then they, it got kind of serious too because it was about. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Yeah. It was like that came out of nowhere. Oh yeah. shit! 
Yeah, it's okay. So already that underground people would have failed if it wasn't rigged with somebody that they already knew. Because they basically, like, you know, they wouldn't have bothered with that at all. They basically just cook shit and fail like everybody else. The only reason why they knew what was going on is because they knew that he was in the underground from before. So, that, that whole, yeah. So, that, that, so that whole thing was just stupid. I, um, I don't think it was rigged at all. Dude, they're from I mean, the underground. I think it was just like a lucky think, coincidence. No, I think they just understood the, the concept better. Dude, no. I, I, you, wait, you're trolling, right, Coon? <laughs> no, no, I think they just understood the concept better. No, literally the what's his face pale man in his fedora. He mm-hmm. was like, "This whole thing's rigged. If you're part of the underworld, you get by scot free." He yeah, didn't say that specifically. He he literally said that. No, he just said that he they're they're better because they know better. Like they're not one of those sheltered people who's who's never served the real. I mean, I I don't know the exact wording he said, but it's just more of the fact that these guys aren't experienced enough to know true cuisine. So that's why they're going to fail. Uh, no, nah, it's, I don't know. When you, you basically have like so many people that are like in the underground in this. It's just like, like where the hell is like actually normal people? Cause it sounds like, well, actually, no, that was just theirs. Cause the other two, it just sound like what, the, what Megami had to feed. Uh, um, yeah. Animals. Food that the pets, animals. And, the pet animals eat. and then you, okay. uh, you had uh, Aldini who had to make something that was for good kids. for, mm-hmm. for kids, you know? Yeah. So like, it was, it was just so much. So you yeah. don't know how theirs went. Right. Okay. So, so uh, again, I don't think it was rigged. It was just they just had the experience uh, due to plot device uh, to fully understand what this old man wanted, and then Solmo was able to overcome both of them by, you know, seeing the true meaning uh, and the, behind it. This and the, yeah, the, and then the noir people just happened to be in that one as well. And yeah. That, yeah no. That, okay. the, Wait. Did anybody talk about this yet? This old man was ready to literally off himself. Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. Yeah. And okay, it's so I was to say, well, the, and, this and man it's later brought two guns, a toy gun, and an actual gun. Like, is there no screening? <laughs> nope. Like this old man just rolled up with a Glock. He was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm ready, hey, dude. I'm." When you're in the mafia for that long, you know how to bring in your concealed weapons. Hey, all that guy ever wanted to do was cook, and apparently he can't cook anymore. Yeah, that's so. why you have to bring a Glock into right? your competition. <laughs> oh my god. It's a revolver, sir. Not a was it a Glock? I don't know. No, I think it was a revolver. I'm pretty sure it was a revolver. I'm being Brian, because I yeah, don't it, remember. It was a revolver. It's a gun. Hey, whatever. Yeah. Is, is is anyone else getting this vibe that the WGO leader or whatever, the one that's like kind of coordinate everything, is like Erina's mom? That's what I was thinking about, yeah. Even though, because I, I I really can't see why else like she, why Erina is going through all these her own different trials in a sense. Trial. You know? Even though yeah, I, I, I did they because I I thought they mentioned that her mom died or something, but I don't I don't remember I don't that. Know. Maybe they just never mentioned it. Either. So I, that's why I think it is her mom too. That, so hmm. we'll see. I actually never I actually didn't even catch that or even think about it because again I have no idea what happened with everybody's moms. Like, I mean, it's it sounded like Arena, and then like, and then she, they're making her do her special trial too. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I, I'm just so used to an anime now. Like, if I just don't see the mom, I just assume they're dead. <laughs> Rude. It's, it's either, it always seems like either the mom or the dad is dead. They could never be just happy family. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. I have the tra- themes. Tragic backstory. Yeah. yeah, apparently, just you know, normal people can't have tragic backstories unless the parent is uh dead. Yeah, basically. Or some, or some sort of or, like family know, member, because, like, some terrible situation. Because if you're a teenager as a main character and you have parents, so always be asking why you're always out, <laughs> I guess doing so. your super, your, your super, power, super power stuff. God, or it's like you know, you get the slice of life shows where you're just like, oh yeah, like my parents are just working like out of town, and I just live in this apartment by myself. It's like solid, moving mm-hmm. on. But anyway, yeah, uh, trial two, trial two looks to be pretty. Uh, exciting at least because at least the old first seat came back. Yep. He's part that's of the trial. Cool. Now. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Well, but like, I guess we don't know why, but his his arrival was kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, but they're not really competing against each other. They just they can, they guess have to pass the judge, so it's not really gonna be a actual battle, I guess. But um, they'll make a battle. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really catch what was going on, but well, uh, maybe, they'll yeah. change, maybe they'll change it for the second gate then, because the first gate was just getting past the judge. Right, dude. I'm I'm missing like actual cooking animations so much now. I'm so tired of basically them just saying, "Oh, start," and then they're showing their plates to them. Right? Yeah, I just, I, just know, well, actually, I guess like I was gonna say, like, there wasn't really much foodgasm, but I guess the old man had it. But like, it, like 
I just realized too, it's right. like not, not as intense fugasms or it's yeah, not as if that, impactful if that, as it used to be. If that old guy had it, he would have uh, he would have been dead. But you know, yeah, there you go. That Brian, that image that Brian sent. The trial, the trial is basically a free pass for noir members. Yeah, because they're experienced and they know what they're doing. Like they're better chefs than whoever the WGO brought. Them. No way. I don't know. A sixty-seven-year-old man is gonna down like fucking beef stew that's rich and fat and protein. Wait, he's only in sixties, dude. I don't know how old he is, but that dude's on his deathbed. <laughs> there, I, like from what I've seen from old man. people eating, they ain't no way they digest the mesh properly. <laughs> Uh, he's also an anime character, sir. They can do whatever the <laughs> fuck mean, they want. Like, yeah. like Goku? Do you think that man can stop eating at any point? I mean, right. Yes. I don't know. It's uh, a lot of these things. I think will hopefully be answered next episode with a lot of these things. I mean, I'm still gonna hold with Brian and say that this that this shit is just rigged for a noir. Um, but I mean, you know, we'll see if the other ones can you know, prove me wrong. I like to see if it's actually. Uh, somebody that's just like a you know like a neutral, a neutral person, or if like uh, if like the judges are gonna be noir or some shit, right? Because it seems like noir is just like in control of this, um, and possibly Aaron his mom, unless she's in noir as well, and we just don't know it. Yeah, I mean maybe, no, but as right, but as of right now, there's nothing that's concrete saying that it's all rigged for the noir people. Okay, I'll hold, I'll hold for now. We'll see. Yeah. Time will tell. But okay. yeah. I just want. Uh, yeah, I think that's I just it. want to go back to basics and just show me the cooking. <sighs> I just want the show to end. That's what. Uh, that's what season one is for, fellas. Season one. Oh, right? season you, one. Can't see, oh, you can't. So see. You want. You want that. You want that vanilla shit. You go back to season one, sir. Oh, okay, because <laughs> season one was so that, vanilla. You want that nice animation with actually cooking and like uh and every, like the like the intense food gasms. Yeah. Go back to season one. Get out of here. Trying wants that but, octopus with peanut butter. Dude. I'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> they animate that cooking, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I I can't disagree, but okay. Mm-hmm. I got nothing else, though. Okay. It was just this episode which just had weird, weird dark tones to it. They were just kind of thrown in out of nowhere. Yeah. And then just, uh, again, just lack of animation for a lot of stuff that made everything else really good. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So that's going to be it for Shogeki. And then I guess we'll move on to Friend to Girlfriend, which I don't know why I'm still watching this yes. show. Bro, dude, about, man. Damn, fuck I, I, I fucking the character. MC, fucking mommy, dude, horrible people. I mean, okay, god like, damn. So, okay, I'll say my thing you, first. <laughs> I'll say my thing first, like because there's so many like easy things you can like you can just like complain about the main character about all the things, but like the, for me, it's like the biggest thing is still like him just lying so much and like getting like like Jesus like. Like caught up in all this, like it's one thing you can be cringed by yourself and just screw yourself over, but like you just make Chisa look so bad when he keeps lying and being like when he like when like the friends are asking, oh how did you two meet? And he said, oh I I hit on her in Shibuya, and the guy's like, oh wow, Chisa you're uh, a little easier than I thought you, I thought you would be, and she's just like sit there awkwardly saying yeah uh huh, and like goddamn dude you're just like just stop lying man like. Be cringe by yourself. Just stop lying. That's that's all I'll say about the main guy. You, y'all have you two can go at it. All I can say is fucking Chizuru. She deserves much better. I mean, she is a she is a true professional, fellas. She's way too right? nice. When no, she is a true professional. Yes, she is nice as well. But man, she ah, oh, she she deserves so much better than this. Even if she's getting paid for all this shit, she deserves way better. This is probably, and then this mommy, she wasn't even like, paid because it was like she's. I don't know. Oh he, no, she's getting she's getting that extension fee, extension, you know. But it's like not worth the stress. Hey, money's money. She's got to pay for school because that's the only reason why she's doing all this. Mm. Um, I mean, it's better than being a stripper, right, or other things for college money. Um, yes. but yeah, like, and, and if you and if you hated the MC, like, dude, I thought that there would be no one else that I would hate more. But dude, mommy, oh my god, dude, like, I found someone that I hated even more than the MC. Dude, she is such a fucking like. Two faced bitch. I don't know what her deal was, but she she's gotta go, dude. <laughs> like, dude, oh she, my god, she's really really annoying. Oh my, like it's basically like, you oh see, god, like, cool. You say you don't know what her deal is, well, like you you know those type of girls in real life, like you know how I they do, are. but 
but again, I don't know what her true objective is, right? Like, why is she doing all this to the MC? Because you know, you know, to be fair, in real life, though, like, like right, right. But, I think more, they just don't have an objective. They basically just don't want them, but they don't. They just don't want the person that want like to have anybody it's, else. It's like sense. I think it's just that feeling that like you think you're so above them, so then when they think that they're doing better without you, or they, they think, or like they realize that like they can actually have. You know, a life without you, like they get pissed, saying like, you know, how dare you like feel happy without me? Like, like, like you don't deserve it because I'm so much better than you. That kind of thinking. That's definitely the vibe now, unless there's some twist, crazy twist, like later on well, about I mean, some. She been saying her. She been saying her tweet like, like, you know, like I'm I'm gonna break them up because because they disgust me, you know. Yeah, it's definitely just a terrible character in every single way. And then also like the, the what okay so cool what are your thoughts on the MC then just alone from this episode from the previous ones? It is We're, not getting better. Yeah, <laughs> it is not getting better. But we need him to be bad so we get better character development. Dude, we have character development yet. It's, it's only care. It's only episode no, three. Just, so there. I'm just joking, man. That's what fucking Reddit says. I, I hate that argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But again, I want to I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like if by episode six. There is no so like, six. because you gotta think about it. there's there's gotta be a, a climax right there has to be like like we just just plot in general there has to be the uh you know the 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 drama and then there's a climax and then there's like the the resolution and then or whatever the closure I mean whatever but you know halfway through I would imagine like you would hit the climax and then you would start to do better uh, so I'm giving it until episode six. At least. See, most people go by the four episode rule. Well, that's for if you want to keep watching it or not. That's that's what I would do. Dude, but, but a lot of people like will watch the show, but depending on the MC though. This MC is uh, not really MC. It's all, like, a lot of MCs. I'm watching for cheese room. There, yeah, that's fair. People, yeah. people don't watch shows for MCs because a lot of MCs just suck. So it's always like yeah. the heroines. Really though, but I mean, yeah. for me, it's just like like a show is ruined if the MC is terrible. Hence Subaru. But it's um okay. That was... Sorry, I just had to throw that in. But no, you I think most people are definitely that. Just, just throw shade at Super. Hey, hey, I, I will not, con- I will not confirm or deny. Um, to so many other, like, I... so many other harms and rom coms of like bad MCs too. But people watch it for the yeah. girls. I, I, yeah, oh yeah. For this one, it's definitely, it's definitely choose real because it's, it's already she's like putting on like way more than she should even have to deal with. Like if, if basically, like she should easily, she should, just, she should just throw this guy under the bus at any point now. And mm-hmm. just be done with it. They, and, nice. or, but then the problem is though, but the thing is though, she can't actually. She's not supposed to give out her like actual like information, like who she is, correct? Like she has to. No, like, I think that's part that's basically like, in the, the well, terms. Okay, like what they you know, even though MC's broken the terms so many times. Yeah, but they'll do like unseen circumstances. You know, like they happen to live next door to each other somehow. They happen to go to the same university. So their grandmothers yeah, happen to be at the, the same hospital. Yeah, they happen to be at the beach uh, together. Maybe. Right. So uh, I don't know. They're not supposed to, but it's just how the story's playing out. So like, yep. so like they keep saying like uh, we, we should tell everyone they're broken up, and then like doesn't so, happen. And so like, so what was it Ku was saying like like he wants to change? But it's like, like, like I would hope there. I would hope there's a change, like, right? He's hoping for the change, but I'm pretty sure that like they still gotta keep lying. He's he still keep lying. They're not gonna break up, and then they just gotta keep going with this thing. It's just gonna keep following the same thing every episode where they're gonna mention we should break up, something's gonna happen, they lie more. And then or, <laughs> yeah. or, or he's gonna like he's gonna be like he's gonna start crying, like, why am I so pathetic? Why do I keep doing this? And then he just does the same thing again. Right. I mean in real life, yeah, if this is what you see in real life, then yeah, they're they're screwed. They're not gonna change, right? That's just how they are. But this is anime, right? You wanna hope that they they show some kind of growth, right? I think mommy's a fucking lost cause, but I mean, even then, she even even oh, her oh. has like a turning point in a sense. If Vegeta can go from evil to to second best good guy in Dragon Ball, you know, everyone has a chance here. All right, if Piccolo can be like like the the, the main villain of Dragon Ball and it'd be Gohan's godfather in a sense, you know, in Dragon Ball Z, like there's any anyone in now, anime now you, has a chance. Oh, 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 oh. How are you comparing? <laughs> no, you can't do that, dude. No, I'm talking about anime. Like in anime in general, right? Anything no. can happen. Okay. 
<laughs> anything can happen in anime. That's what you guys are seem to be forgetting, right? But, like I said, but, in real life, if you met a mommy or a the MC, you're like, you know what? Fuck this, these guys. You know, like they're lost causes. I don't want anything to do with. Them. They're not going to change. They're not going to get better. But this is anime, and I'm hoping for anime sake, you know, like for for the show's sake, that it's going to get better. That people are going to grow up and change, and you know. Like it, it goes to a, a good ending in a sense, you know. But as of right now, I didn't like it so hot. So, <laughs> man, like, yeah. See, if like the main character, if he, was, if he was a real life person, I feel more bad. Like, I feel because like, oh hell uh, no, I don't. I, I don't feel, think so. I feel, I feel, I feel bad, whereas like, whereas like this guy, it's like, man, like I really just don't care. Like, I really don't care about him. I I don't know. It's. I I don't know. This is like the first time like for an MC. Like I hope he ends up with nobody. I hope he basically just ends up homeless in a ditch. It sounds terrible. And then I hope she's really ends up with like the best person ever. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's rough, dude. Yeah, right. Yeah, I had rough times, man. Rough times, <laughs> a terrible, rough character. Um, uh, no, nah, it's I don't know. Unless I unless like, with where this guy has like crazy like 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 changes like in the future, uh, maybe. But I just don't know. I, I mean, I, I want where he just tells uh, what where's it, mommy. Mommy. We're, we're, mommy. Yeah. Tells her off. I mean, if, if that happens, that'd be like, okay, go, get it. Uh, but I, I don't, if that's going to happen, I assume it's going to be like the last episode. Right. And then right. this is, again, this is just me nitpicking at everything, right? Trying to find the good in, in, in all the episodes, right? Like, like they will saying, uh, he, he seems to be trying to change. He's going to tell the truth, set everything right. But then in the very next episode, episode, you know. <laughs> Right, and, and and in the very next episode, he tracks, uh, like he backtracks. He's like, "Oh no, like I'm sorry, just one more day, just one more day." And then, uh, more day. when he met uh, Amami at the uh, at the izakaya or whatever, or at the meetup, you know, he he did kind of uh, like stand up to her when they were walking back, and they're at the vending machine. Like, this is why I told you off, and that's what triggered Mommy even more to try to get them to break up. Like, there's there's these small things here and there where he's he's slowly trying to like. A girl backbone and like tell mommy off but he just ends up faltering and just you know he was about just... i guess like he was about to like say like like the whole thing about the rental rental girlfriend but then like the whole thing was like because he thought he kept thinking he could join her back or like he or was it like yeah he kept thinking he could win her back yeah somehow. he didn't win her back yeah just because if like what like you have to think about it, like what what is the premise of the show you know like it's about a guy who got dumped and now he's renting a girlfriend to kind of like feel better about himself so what if the show is about this guy who's got his heart broken and he's still like very immature he's not very good with females and now he has to try to like figure out like how girls truly are and how to like talk and connect with a uh, with another person so and, so like maybe that's what this is about. So who knows? And then it just, that just mm. reminds me, what, this is the bathroom scene when he was like saying, "Oh hey, like me and mom, we actually do pretty well." So I hope you don't take offense that we might get back together. I'm like, what the right. hell, dude? Like you, you're so fucking delusional. Like that is yeah. Like that just pissed me off. It's like, you, like no. So uh, every time you think he's gonna do it right, Brian, you yeah. should watch. Yeah, you should watch yeah, it. Wait, he's actually just renting. Yeah, he's what? renting. He's renting Chizuru, like the the main chick. That's like. Like an angel at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You should give a, the show a, a shot, Brian, and then uh, then report back to us and then see what you're... What, what is, okay, what is your friend's thoughts on the show? Or manga? Or, well, does he like it or not? I don't know. He just wanted to hear us rant about it, I guess. Oh, well, <laughs> well, I well, hope did. I did him justice there. <laughs> But I want, like, like I said, by episode six, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this because, like, there, there's so many things that that just triggers me. But like, I can't stop <laughs> looking. You know, like, I can't stop watching it, dude. Because fucking mommy, it's, it's kind of like uh, seeing yesterday for me, right? Like, you, you just hope that there's redemption, like there's that there's payoff at the end. But this one just takes it one step further and just pushes all the buttons, like, like especially worse. in mommy. This is way worse. Right? <laughs> it's it's way worse. Like. Chizuru deserves better, but she's kind of dumb too because she did fuck it up for herself when uh, the MC was trying to tell the grandma that it was just I mean, all fake. She's, yeah, she's so yeah. nice. Like, I just right. That's why. So I it's just blame the main character and him and his lying. Yeah. So again, there's it's only what episode three. And four. yes, and and to be fair, yes, like mommy is like she should be doing that as an ex or as like a psych as a psychopath, and his friends are shitty too. So yeah. The guy doesn't have the best situation, but still. 
Yeah. Like, you know how I hate it, like, uh, like Rokun, and I hope he was going to get hit by a bus or, or a truck, or whatever, and die. Mommy's, mommy's like, this is, this is mommy. Mommy's the one that you really hope something happens, you know? Like, this is the one Ro. that deserves it. Ro is right. at least, like, immature. Ro's, like, like, uh, he's immature, but, like, a less worse version of the main character, whereas, like, mommy's is way worse. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to still finish the show, but, uh, I mean,. I would normally only give it like, like say four episodes. I'm not gonna be as lenient as like half the season as cool. Because uh, hey, you're, if you're watching Sword Art, I think you have the tolerance to watch this, sir. All right. So there should be like already some sort of character redemption or like some sort of development. They really haven't even like broke that kind of like wall yet for basically like you know, how this guy is just becoming like more decent. If anything, it's going the wrong way. Right. So, and right. It, based on like how the this third episode ended. It doesn't. I don't think it'll get better this fourth episode. I Not don't anytime soon, because yeah. uh, according to the OP, there's going to be more, Two more uh, girls, girls uh, yeah, why? introduced. You know, why? Which, but why though? I don't know. It's because you have to see the different facades of the female. No, you like have, the main character doesn't deserve it though. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. I mean, how? How? Like, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to bring the RL, right? This is the worst guy to get. Up. To get a harm. Not even harm, right. if, his mommy doesn't count, but if if you want to make it as realistic as possible, like how how else is a guy supposed to know about the different like faces that a girl shows? Like experience, really, that's all you have. So <laughs> this is gonna be his his journey, his experience to the different facades that females have. So as I think, he's lying about huh? Right. We'll so see. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, I don't know. It seems, we'll like see, definitely, it seems like he's gonna have it, it easy, have it easier than two other girls. It seems like they're actually they're not gonna be as bad as, MC. as yeah, yeah, as bad as mommy. Oh, uh, so I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I can easily see like the other two girls as being like more kind of like actually like the stepping stones to like you know the actual stuff where he actually learns more like from them or through them, whatever, or whichever, and then uh actually like from Chizuru or or mommy. Yeah, you know, like maybe maybe mommy is the worst, and then they're gonna slowly introduce girls that are just slightly better, and then they just like showcase yeah, all the good qualities of Chizuru or like why she's perfect. You know, like maybe that's how they're gonna set the show up. Who knows? We'll see. But this, yeah, this definitely just terrible MC, just terrible fashion sense. This guy just sucks. That's all I got, dude. I don't want to talk about this guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you live for every week, friend. Oh god, not for this guy. <laughs> not for this guy. Yeah. I lived, I lived uh, to fight against this man. Ah, uh, but that's that's my rant. Oh god. It was good. Good job. Oh god. Just horrible. <laughs> why? Why, why do I do this? Why? Anime? Good, good. Why? Like I'm gonna give it six episodes, and it's just like why? Why? God? Why? No, 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 no. You misunderstood. I'm gonna finish this because yeah. I want my fucking like I want oh, okay. redemption. Yes. Yes. But yeah, I would hope that by episode six, there's a turning point and it gets better. Hopefully, well, there will be a turning point, but then it, it's gonna get bad again, like really bad, right before episode I like six. Episode. Isn't this a twelve episode show? It is. You're right, gonna but, uh, give it half of a season to hope for the character to turn around. Yep. Because <laughs> the real because the real MC is Chizuru. And you hope that she gets off in a a uh, a better predicament than she is currently in right now. So I hope she ends up with somebody else, <laughs> or just like just moving away and never seeing him again. Yeah. Also, Dude, that would be a, it's hard to see. Off. It's hard to see, like I don't know, because like I think the manga is so ongoing, and I can't see how what things get solved oh God. in this first season. So oh god, it's, oh really? It's, it's not gonna. It's sure not gonna it's finish. It's gonna end at a terrible point. <laughs> Who's enjoying this? Like, who is actually enjoying this shit? And then it's able to like keep it going. Like, honestly, Dude, all, all all the Japanese simps who want hope. <laughs> all all you sick fucks out there, God, just just stop. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. The next episode. <laughs> oh God. Your team and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Will it be worse? We'll find out next episode. I rent a girlfriend. God, I can't believe this, this show is, has more like rage than Sword Art. <laughs> Surprise. I know. What the hell? Who would have expected that to happen? All right. So that's going to be it for Rent a Girlfriend. And then that's, uh, I guess, I want to open up. you have any other shows you want to talk about? Oh, man. You're, it's already uh, late. What, you're 
Kuhir, was it something wants to hang out? Oh yeah, Azuki Chan or Uzaki Chan wants to hang out. Yeah. It's it's still a pretty damn good show. It's it's, it's getting better and better. Um, better and then, Oh god, yes. Okay. Uh, Just way better. And then uh, yeah, Misfit Academy, dude. That, that show's starting to to pick up, like in 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 all the right places. Best MC of 2020, pretty sure. Um, best liner, best one liners, I think. He has two of them actually. I can't pick either the you can't like uh, the the dying part or the the time stopping part. But man, those are some some pretty good one liners. <laughs> I love that. Uh, David, you just have horrible taste. Dude. It's okay. Very generic, like, over our like lines, but whatever. I mean, I know, just the way he says it and in the situation just makes it really stand out, you know. Oh, but man. yeah, I would definitely give the show a watch if you haven't. Like I've always said, like it's 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 like it's nothing amazing. It's just like a general cliche OP anime uh, show. But yeah, I don't know I, I really like the MC. He's he's so far twenty twenty one of the the best MCs I've seen yet. So Dude, it, it's it's going to be again, man. That Crunchyroll's like uh, clips is going to make me watch another show. Damn them! They, they, oh, they've been spoiling pretty good shows or too many good clips from this show. By the way, yeah. Like, they've been, like they've been spoiled, they spoiled a lot from like last week's reserve. So you gotta make sure you're caught oh, up so you don't like or just don't follow mm-hmm. them. But yeah, I know Crunchy like immediately when the episode really airs. Spoiling. Like, yeah, they they should probably chill on that. But then are comments like negative for that? Like I don't are people like comments, you know, okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Those are the ones I'm really scared to look at. Are the ones that are actually like monitored? No, I'm not going to read those comments. I don't look just, at the comments, but like, just don't read comments until you've actually seen an episode. Just to be no, safe. I'm, problem, saying, like, if you, if you, I'm saying like, if you follow them on Twitter, like they're showing like screenshots of like Echidna and stuff. It's like, man, why are you guys show this stuff? Well, the problem too with that is like, because like other comments will basically spoil. Like they'll they'll just think they're funny. You're know, just spoiling like everything else, even after that. Mm. Uh, and so not just not just the episode itself, but then you have like that you know that fool who just thinks it's you know be like flare you know hilarious just to ruin the, the entire show for somebody. Um, and I have no idea if those are monitored monitored at all on Crunchyroll or YouTube. I mean Reddit, like in a sense, it is kind of, but then it takes a while I think for that to actually like you know, get flagged. Like the, I guess like the mods are trying to make an effort for like. Rezero and Snafu, just cause they put out they put at the top of subreddit saying, like you know we're gonna watch we're gonna be like strict on like on spoilers and even like stuff that hints. So that's good, good for them. I'm still not gonna look at comments though, just yeah, because same. I'm too scared. Because I, I just, it's just like other sh- like it wasn't as like other shows. It wasn't like shows I was hyped on that I was spoiled by, but like other shows where I was sore watching, like people yeah hella spoiling in those like in like those hints. It sucks though too because it definitely like kind of hurts our discussions, but at the same time, it, it saves it saves our enjoyment of the show. So, so yeah. but anyway, sorry. So, I guess that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this week. So, want want to thank the audience for seeing with this far. Thanks, thanks Nick. Thanks Johan if you're still here. Thanks guys. True legends. Yep. <laughs> want to thank the thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks guys. Always enjoy. Domo, Domo. Always enjoy yes. sharing our our joy and our our pain of all the shows we watch every week. The season's so, getting better. Fuck anime. <laughs> <laughs> well, the season's getting better to you know basically just with discussions and just Shit. having fun with it. Stupid. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Enjoyment. No. Ecstasy. Pain. No. Ecstasy. Sense. <laughs> ah. Sorry, we all know. Ah! We all know strands. Uh, Masochist. Masochist. Yep. <laughs> no. Why? Why? I was, I was gonna say closet, but he's not. He's not closet. He's he's wide open. Yeah, I'm pretty open to those things. Yeah. No comment. All right. Even though I already commented. Yes. That's gonna be it for us this week. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.